I was 21 years old when I came out and I was 24 years old when I went back in the closet. My name is Brian McComick and I'm an organizational healer who inspires human-centered workplace cultures. So it's the day before my 25th birthday and I've started my new job in corporate America in human resources. I'm super excited. I've landed a great gig. It's something I've worked for, for, for a while. And I'm at lunch that first day with my new team and we're talking and we're getting to know each other as you do with a new team. And we're talking about what movies we saw and where we grew up and where we live in town. And uh, in that, um, in the conversation, one of my coworkers asked me, Brian, do you have a girlfriend? Now this seems like a simple question. And for most people, it probably is. But for me, it sparks a collection of questions that I have to answer. Do I come out? Will it be safe to come out? Will they accept me? Will it affect my job? Will it affect my career? I choose to say, no, I don't, and brush off the question and keep that part of my life hidden. The next week, I'm having a touch base with my new boss, John, and he casually mentions his husband, Craig. He just came out to me. Wow. It feels safer already. So I come out to him and I tell him that I wasn't sure if I could be myself here and be out and whether that would be safe. And he says, I've been out here for years. I've had a great career. He helps me know that there are other leaders at the company who are out and successful, including one of our most senior executives. I breathe a sigh of relief and I now get to focus on my job and not worry about what the rest of my story means for my career. But then as my career progresses and I move to the next opportunity, to the next job, I realize that coming out isn't a one-time event, it's an everyday event. And sometimes it's multiple times a day. And each time I have to make a decision, I have to go through that set of questions and say, is it safe to come out here? Then I find myself on stage at the annual succession management conference put on by the conference board in New York City. It's a big event. I'm on stage to talk to a group of chief HR officers about diversity and inclusion. I look out at the audience and I see on their face a question that might be on your face right now, which is, why is the white guy on stage to talk about diversity and inclusion? Now, it's a question I get a lot, and I, I already know that that's something that I need to answer. So I make the choice to share a story about why diversity and inclusion is important to me. First, I say that it doesn't matter who you are, everyone can be an advocate for diversity, including white guys like me. My story though, is about the time that I found out I was diagnosed with HIV and it ignited a significant episode of depression that affected my ability to show up at work. Now, I didn't know if I could talk about the diagnosis or I could talk about the fact that I was dealing with a mental illness. So I just did my best to show up to work each day and I wasn't doing a very good job. And I know my colleagues were aware that something was wrong. So I'm sharing the story with this group of chief HR officers. And what I see is that they are no longer looking at me as the white guy who does diversity. They're looking, me, looking at me as a human. They've made a new connection with me. Hopefully they've started to build a trust with me. And in this moment, I realize there might be another opportunity for me to make a difference in the world and to impact hearts and minds. And in that moment, the idea for Hummingbird Humanity was born. Hummingbird is the firm that I have the honor to lead and, and do work with an amazing group of colleagues where we go to companies and organizations to help inspire human-centered workplaces where representation matters, diverse voices are celebrated, and everyone feels valued for exactly who they are. And I find time to speak with companies and to speak with um, groups of people just like yourselves 
and share my stories and let you know that you can be exactly who you are because we all have a story to share. So if you're one of those leaders who wants to inspire humanity in the workplace, send me an email. Let's start a conversation about how I can come speak to your employees. There are more closet doors in your office than you know about. Let's open them together.